What's up? This is Victor Calderon, and you're watching Professional Rock Stars. What's up, ProfessionalRockStars.com? I'm Lauren at Sundance Festival in Montreal, and joining me right now is DJ Victor Calderon. Hello. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. So, this isn't your first time in Montreal, obviously. You have a residency at Stereo. Montreal is my home away from home, yeah. Okay, so how's your residency at Stereo going? You're there every other month or so? Yeah, every other month. Uh, it's amazing. It's, it's my favorite place in the world. Even better than your residency at Crowbar in New York? Uh, Crowbar in New York <laughs> is definitely a um, close second. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's developed into something special as well. Um, but Crowbar New York is, you know, it's a little newer than Montreal. Montreal has been coming for quite a long time. So I've uh, developed a, a strong bond. Montreal, yeah. Well, I can speak from experience. Your parties are definitely memorable and they become something special in New York that have been frequented by both the gay and the straight community. Yes. I'm wondering, what is it about your style that you think draws both crowds? Um, well, I think it's, you know, the, this whole recent kind of transition that I just went through. You know, I, I had a really big gay following. I was the big, you know, I played the whole circuit for a long time, so I consciously made this decision to go a little bit more progressive. So now I've kind of gained this whole straight following, and it just created this really good mix. Um, it's just it's working really great, you know. I'm I'm really uh, I'm really happy about it. And it's just I think it was just a transition that I went through, you know. I evolved. <laughs> Hence the name of the party. Yes. So what kind of equipment do you use? Do you use an FX box or CDJs? Do you use records still? Um, when I play um, stereo and when I play New York, I, I play some, vin some vinyl. Most of my set, like 90% of my set is uh, on CD. No crazy special effects, um, just some sampler, loop, loop sampler, that's it. No, nothing too crazy. Old school. <laughs> so you've been spending time in the studio? Yes. And you have a CD coming out? Yes. All right, talk a little bit about that. Uh, well, it's been a little bit difficult to be in the studio. It's because of traveling uh, schedule. It's been a little crazy. But um, for the end of November, the CD should be dropping. Um, I've been working on some tracks, some original productions, and then some licensed stuff. I did a collaboration with DJ Vibe, something with uh, Pete Heller, um, Chusin Sabalos, some original stuff from me. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Of course, it'll be called Evolve. Um, just kind of represent what I'm, where I'm at musically and what I'm doing with the parties and stuff. How do you think the club scene in Montreal has evolved over the years? To me, Montreal reminds me of uh, New York in the early 90s. Like, it just still seems fresh. It still seems like the people are just really excited about the DJs, excited about going out. Um, I, don't, I don't get that feeling that they're jaded here. You know what I mean? Like, it, it really takes a lot to impress them. It, it does in a sense where they're very musically educated, but there, there's just a different energy here. That people are just really, really, really open-minded, really free, and just they just want to be taken on a journey. And, and for me, that's just, just you know that's the best crowd to play for. So obviously, it is your goal to take people, take people on a journey when you are DJing. So do you have your set kind of planned out, or do you just go with the flow and play whatever you're feeling at the moment? Uh, never plan out anything. Yeah, I just oh, I always go with the flow. Every party is different. Every country is different. I just yeah, I, I have to get up there. That's why kind of I don't like short sets. I like to get up there. I like to feel the crowd. I like to f just find my space and you know just feel the energy and, and and then find my groove. What's your favorite song to rock right now? Favorite song to rock? Uh, it's kind of a mashup thing that I did. It's called Let Me Set You Free. Um, yeah, it's been massive for me every in, in every country that I drop it. Okay. How do you decide um, which of your edits you want to go for with and try to actually maybe put out on a CD or on a vinyl for someone? Crowd response. That's it. You know, when I test it and if it works big, then I'm like, alright, I need to take this one back in the studio and really take it there. Yeah. What's the track that you feel is most successful that you've put out? Most successful? I'd have to say give it up. Early uh, '90s, um, yeah. That that just, that just there's a special connection with that track. It just one, it started everything for me. Got the ball rolling, um, and then just still now there there are parties where I drop it, and it's still, it still it doesn't sound dated. So yeah, it's a special connection with that record. Tried and true. Thank you so much for your time. 
Thanks, guys. Tune in again.